Welcome to another lecture on engineering graphics. Today we will learn how to attempt a question of projections of point on grid sheet. So we will draw this question on the grid sheet. So let us read the question. A point A is 40 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw projections. So we are considering the case of a point in first quadrant. So the motive of this lecture is to understand how we can draw a quotient of projections of point on grid sheet. So first of all we have to draw a reference line. So for a quotient of projections of a point we need a reference line of around 5 to 6 centimeters and you can draw this line continuous thick and on this reference line we have to label both the ends and we will label left end as capital X and right end as capital Y. Now after that what we will do we will mark reference point on this reference line and if you are working on grid sheet then mark the reference point in between the two columns means if this is the first column this is the second column let us say and in between these two columns we will mark a new point I mean to say don't uh, consider this point as a reference point why because when we will plot the views it may happen that view may be on any particular dot on the grid so that will not be visible to the reader. So what we are doing, we are marking a new point in between the two columns. So let us say this is the reference point and the size of the point should be equal to the size of dot on the grid. So it will look good. Now over here the name of the point is capital A. It means we will mark the reference point with small letter A not and take the height of the letter around 5 millimeters. Then after that we will plot front view and top view of this particular point and for that let us read the statement what he says. He says 40 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So first of all we should locate the quadrant of the problem. So we know that this point is in the first quadrant as over here it is written above HP in front of VP. So after labeling the reference point we should uh, plot the quadrant. So how we label the quadrant? We know that uh, in first quadrant we label VP above reference line and we label HP below reference line. So over here above reference line in capital letters in gothic style we will write VP and below reference line we will write in capital gothic style HP and uh, consider height around 7 or 5 millimeters and after that we will plot the first view and let us read the statement again he says 40 mm above HP and in the lecture we have learned that if some distance is given from HP we will plot that distance on VP. So where is VP? VP in this case is above the reference line because it is a first quadrant. So on VP we have to draw a vertical line of 40 millimeters and that will be a continuous thin line. And that line is called as projection line or projector and that should be perpendicular to the reference line. So how to achieve that? Uh, we will use the marking on this scale. Any marking you can use. Place that marking on the reference line. So if you will do this then our scale will be at 90 degrees to the reference line. So see over here I am placing uh, sixth marking on the reference line. You see. Then it will help me to align my scale at 90 degrees to the reference line. This method will be helpful when you are not working on the grid sheet means you are drawing on plain paper. But if you are working on the grid sheet then what you will do after adopting this method you can even cross check 
with the help of dots that whether your scale is in vertical position or not so i have placed my scale on this dot and uh, now i have to check whether the scale is vertical or not so you see the distance over here at the top between dot and the scale and uh, the distance at the bottom between the dot and scale these two distances are almost same it means my scale is in vertical position now he says 40 mm above hp so we have to plot this on vp so from this reference point i will draw continuous thin line it means i will put no pressure on the nib just use the weight of the pencil and draw continuous thin line of 4 centimeters or 40 millimeters it must be continuous thin and we will make the end of that line bold and the size of that point should be equal to the size of grid now you can see this is a continuous thin line and over here point is visible to the reader now this point we have plotted on vertical plane it means it is a front view of the point and we know we label front view of a point with small letter single dash so dash should be at the top so we are ready with the front view of the point now we will plot the top view of the point so for that let us read the next part of the statement he says it is 30 mm in front of vp so distance is given from vp so we have to show this distance on hp so where is hp hp is this side of reference line means below reference line now what we will do we will align our scale with this projection line again and we will keep one marking on the reference line and we will draw a line of 30 millimeters on hp from the reference point and we will draw a continuous thin line so from this point draw a continuous thin line of 3 centimeters or 30 millimeters and make the end of that line bold and the size of the point will be equal to the size of grid now this is top view of point a so we know that we label top view with the small letter only so you see the size of these letters is around 5 millimeter means the height of these letters is around 5 millimeters now after that we have to place dimensions we are ready with the views of the point so for dimensions what we will do we will align our scale with this point or this view and we will leave one millimeter gap and we will draw a continuous thin line of approximately 15 millimeters so we have left one millimeter gap so this is an extension line of approximately 15 millimeters then same procedure we will do at uh, this particular view leave one millimeter gap continuous thin line of around 15 millimeters another extension line then after that what we will do we have to draw a dimension line and that should be at least uh, 10 millimeters from the projection line so let us choose this particular column so it will help us to draw continuous thin line and it is a vertical line and we call this as a dimension line so there are two dimension lines over here actually this is the dimension line for 30 millimeters and this dimension line is for 40 millimeters and after that what we will do we will add closed field arrowheads on both sides of the dimension line this is the first dimension line and arrowheads should be in 3 ratio 1 so similarly we will place arrowheads on the second dimension line as well closed field arrowheads in 3 ratio one now you see we have adopted chain dimensioning after that we will follow aligned system means we will make dimensions readable from right side because in aligned system vertical dimensions are readable from right side of the page so over here in gothic style we will write 40 so we have to follow the same shapes we have learned in gothic numerals so with this we are ready with the answer so let us uh, summarize the important points 
you can see we have drawn reference line of around 6 cm or 7 cm this much length is sufficient and we have marked this reference line as x y line and we have labeled x and y in capital letters by using gothic style and we have marked the reference point in between these two columns so that our projection line and uh, the views should be clearly visible to the reader and we have marked vertical plane and horizontal plane as well in order to show the quadrant of the problem and we have used uh, gothic style for these two and as far as these notations are concerned we have taken the height of these letters around 5 millimeters and dash should be uh, big and it should be clearly visible to the reader and after that you can see that uh, these projection lines are very very thin these are continuous thin lines similarly extension lines and dimension lines are continuous thin lines and we have left one millimeter gap between the view of the point and extension line over here and over here as well then we have placed dimensions by using aligned system so this should be your answer whenever you are attempting any question on projections of point i hope uh, how to attempt a particular question on projections of point is clear to you thank you very much